All right, bro. So before this video, um, before this video really continues, man, I want to issue out my my condolences to Pop Smoke's family and his friends and all that. This is like the first time that um a celebrity passed away that I'm actually directly seeing how it affects like his friends and family, cause like I actually grew up with people who act who knew him and people who actually related to him. You feel me? He was from Canarsie. I used to be in Canarsie a lot. And the weird thing is, that first video that we ever seen of Pop Smoke, when he got into it with them kids in front of that bodega, one of the kids, uh, Kiki, he actually lived around the corner from my house when I lived in East Flatbush. See, I lived on Utica and he lived in the 50s. But, you know, he passed away as well. It's just a sad situation that like all the all the young black kids is just like passing away, man. This man passed away at 20 and he wasn't even old enough to buy liquor. You feel me? It's just, it's just a sad situation, dog. Now, I'm not going to talk like he was an angel. I'm pretty sure he himself would tell you that he wasn't an angel, so I'm not going to I'm not going to speak on that. It's just the fact that he had a chance to make something of himself. And his potential got cut short. You feel me? Like, I hate to see people's potential get cut short. Imagine making it out of the hood and from Brooklyn. Imagine them making it out of Brooklyn to get killed in Hollywood. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that, bro? The crazy things, too, man. Like, he was all over my, my timeline last week. Cause I guess he was had he had the situation with the photographer. I'm pretty sure the photographer probably felt very bad right now. He was trying to expose him. You know, he had the situation with the phot photographer where um the dude had like posted some pictures. The pictures wasn't really flattering or whatever. And and you know, Pop Smoke was like, "Yo, you need to take them joints down. Like you wildin'." And Sun tried to expose him in the messages. And like a lot of my Facebook friends was. Was, was saying a lot of negative things, you know what I'm saying? Same people, same people over there talking about, yo, he died mad young. Just last week, man, you was talking crazy about the man, right? I was talking about he looked like E.T. And, and oh, why he always smiling, nigga, mouth to never close, right? He not here now. You feeling bad. Over there talking about rest in peace and R.I.P. and all that, man. Then, yo, it was, it was, it's somebody I went to school with too, yo. That was talking reckless. This man is grown. Like, this man is 30-something years old. Talking reckless about a kid passing away. A 20-year-old kid. A 20-year-old kid passing away. You all up in the middle of the street, you goofy ass. School bus need to take you out. Yeah, talking crazy about a kid passing away. And I'm trying to figure out why. Like, he ain't do nothing to you. At least from what I know, he ain't do nothing to you. I know you not banging because you always been you always been soft. Like, I know you not gang banging because you always been soft. Like, so you not cho. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, I mean let's, not, let's not really talk about that. But I just think it's a sad situation, man. I really want to know who invented, like, the pistol. I'm gonna look it up when I go in the crib. Because when you see like gun violence and people passing away from 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 uh from gun violence, when you look at the situation, it's always like the person behind the gun always look like a sissy. Like to me, only sissies use guns. Now I'm not gonna flex like I don't own one, you just gotta stay dangerous because you got to fight fire with fire at the end of the day. I'd rather scrap it out, to be honest with you. But it always be a situation like that. Like, think about this, right? They broke into this man's house to rob him, right? At least that's what that's what it's saying. And I'm pretty sure, because he's from the hood, I'm pretty sure he wasn't giving it up. So they shot him. Like, how bold could you be? That you break into somebody's crib and shoot them because they it's not going your way. Just call it call it a day. Call it a day, big homie. Like you ran up in there, you try to you try to, you know what I'm saying, you try to impose your will. He wasn't scared. It is what it is. You feel, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all gotta stay dangerous, man. Y'all gotta stay dangerous, bro, because people out here not playing fair. 
To be honest, bro, I'd rather be fighting for my freedom than be fighting for my life. Big facts. I'd rather be fighting for my freedom than be fighting for my life. Real talk, man, because niggas will kill you for the simplest thing. I wonder what it was like back in the day. Before before guns, when when if you had a problem, you smack somebody with your gloves and tell them to meet you in the damn courtyard. You feel me? Come outside, let's play with them shop objects. Cause now motherfuckers got guns, they got problems, they can shoot you from a distance. At least if you know if you know somebody hit you with the with them with the with them blades, they meant it. I'm pretty sure it was less it was less like bold moments where people just try to rob you for no reason. It was less bold moments. Like wasn't no, you you know what I'm saying? This was back in the day before cars and stuff. So you ain't no way you riding by on your horse and, and somebody doing a drive by you, they gonna throw a damn knife at you. Nah. I'm I mean, then again, let me stop. I'm pretty sure people was throwing knives back then too, but it's a sad situation, man. See a young kid lose his life like that. I know his family is probably like hurting, bro. Everybody's family would be hurting, but I know his family is like hurting, my nigga. Like, just imagine, like, just imagine you have like, you have a um, a, a a kid who been given all types of trouble, getting in all types of trouble, going in and out of jail. You feel me? His life just looked like it have no direction. Then finally. Once his life start getting a direction, and it's a positive direction, that that could put everybody in a better a better situation. Pretty much, he's gonna make up for everything he's ever done. Any any type of bail money you had to put up, anytime you you was out there stressing, you don't know if he gonna make it home. He was gonna make up for all of that, and right before his potential, his life get cut short. That's crazy, son. That's crazy. I hate I hate to see people's potential just get cut short. Like did that remind me of when I was in junior high school? When I was in junior high school, I went to my 11. Right? So from 6th grade to 8th grade, bro, it was this kid named Kamar. Kamar Clark, bro. Kamar was cool as hell. Kamar was probably one of the flyest people you could meet. At the time, jerseys and Jordans was 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 popping. Kamar had every jersey, every Jordans, and he always put it together. But Kamar, I think he got left back. He got left back in school like even once or twice. I'm not sure. But you know, he he just didn't really care about school. He was just about like getting fly, coming in there. He was giving the teachers hell, and then out of nowhere, um, I remember this. This was like in seventh grade. He started really buckling down and doing his work in like seventh grade. Then eighth grade, it was even, he was even more focused. He was focused, bro. Focused. I remember we used to have homeroom, Kamal just being there like doing homework and stuff for, for stuff that was due probably like the next week. Like he was going in. And then um, he ended up getting into it with some chick and... He, they sent him to in-house suspension at another school. But long story short, man, he ended up getting killed. Like he got, he got killed either a month or two weeks before graduation. Like he got killed right before graduation, and he was actually gonna graduate. I remember he was looking forward to graduating because our homeroom teacher used to always make fun of him. Like, oh. Finally gonna graduate. And he was just he was just looking forward to graduation, bro. And this man gets shot right before graduation. The whole school was hurt. Cause every and you can ask anybody that went to my eleven around that time, they'll tell you the same thing. Kamar changed for the better. Like he changed for the better. And 
he start he, he finally like started to 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 realize his potential because he was smart, bro. He just never used to really apply himself. He was smart, and once he started applying himself, like it started to show. And this man gets he gets killed. I never really I don't know if they caught the person that killed him, but last I heard, it was like I think they did, and it was like a grown man. Grown man killed a, a 15 year old. That shit crazy. Oh man. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke, man.